sobrang init. Nitong mga nakarang araw, grabe talagang init. Pansin mo ba? Dog Jello again of Stopia Animal Clinic. For this video, I'll be discussing heat stroke or heat stress sa mga aso. And before I start this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell for more notifications sa mga susunod pang video. Okay? Yucky! Ang kut! Ba't ka nalangay sa hangin? Hindi eh. So, heat stress is very common during summer days and kung saan mataas ang humidity at talagang napakainit. Heat stress and heat stroke is very common for heavily coated breeds such as Chow Chow and Siberian Husky. So, if you have those breeds, Make sure na patuorin na tapusin ninyo ang video to para malaman ninyo ang mga signs and tips on how to prevent it. So heat stroke happens when your dog cannot regulate their body temperature. They usually sweat with their paws and then uh, they release the heat through panting. So in cases na sobra na yung init at they cannot compensate or release the heat, Heat stroke or heat stress may happen to your dog. What are the signs that your dog is experiencing heat stroke or heat stress? Una is panting. So nakalabas yung dila. As I've said, through panting, re-release nila ang init. Second sign is if you know how to check the pulse of the dogs, they have erratic and weak pulse. Third sign, it can check their gums. If it's pale, Uh, it could be one of the signs of heat stroke. So, ikaapat na sign, we increase in salivation. So, naglalaway siya with panting. Kalimang sign would be your dog might be depressed, lethargic, and weak. Nasa gilid lamang siya. Hindi na siya ganun ka-active tulad ng usual niyang ginagawa. And sometimes, your dog might try to uh, walk but uh, dizzy ang kanilang pakiramdam or nahihilo sila. And sometimes, your dog might collapse. If that's the case, you really have to do itong mga tips na ibibigay ko sa susunod. So, yun yung mga signs na maaaring nyo makita sa dogs na mayroong heat stress or heat stroke. Ano nga ba ang dapat gawin? What to do when you see those signs na nabanggit ko kanina? Unang dapat gawin, get your dog to a cool, dry place. Second thing to do, please provide ventilation. So, itapat nyo siya sa electric fan. And then, o kaya sa lugar na mahangin, open space para marilis niya yung heat. Third thing to do is you must provide uh, fresh water. So if your dog is not drinking on its own, kailangan i-wet niyo yung kanilang dila para ma ma-cool down sila at makainom sila ng tubig. So fourth, huwag natin subukan silang paliguan or basahin buong katawan in bad because it will worsen the situation it will prevent yung blood flow sa kanilang extremities and uh, mas lalo lang lalala ang kanilang kondisyon so if you are uh, walking with your dogs and this happened if you are walking okay uh, try to do breaks so kailangan humanap kayo ng shades and make sure na papahingay nyo yung dog and always bring water with them para hindi sila ma heat stroke kapag naglalakad kayo And also, kung naglalakad nga kayo sa labas, make sure na huwag niyong gawin ito during midday. So, try to do it during morning or uh, mas maganda evening o kaya hapon para hindi na ganun kataas ang temperatura at ang araw sa labas. Make sure if this happened to your dog, uh, contact your veterinarian and uh, please visit your uh, local veterinarians and then uh, they can help you try to regulate yung temperature ng inyong dogs and uh, ma-prevent yung pag ng situation. Importante yung makababa natin yung temperatura ng inyong dogs and then uh, make sure na alam natin yung mga signs ng heat stress or heat stroke para first hand makikita na natin kung meron ba nito ang inyong dog at maaga pa natin ito agad. So remember that uh, prevention is always better than cure. So dapat first hand pa lang alam na natin kung paano yung mga dapat gawin para mapigilan lalo yung mga breed specific like Chow Chow and Huskies na very prone with this. So dapat uh, tayo yung mas vigilant with uh, signs of heat stroke and I do hope na uh, mapansin nyo agad at may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maagapan natin yung mga ganitong sakit at uh, maiwasan natin yung mga namamatay na aso with uh, heat stroke 
lalo hindi natin alam kung paano yung dapat gawin. Well, I do hope may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And then, uh, if you have any more suggestions sa pagpapakul down sa inyong dog or uh, sa mga gantong cases, please comment down below. And if you have any more questions, uh, mag-comment lang kayo and I will try to answer it. So, thank you sa panonood ng video na to. If you like this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, of course, ring the not notification bell for more videos. So, I hope for a healthy pets and then sana uh, hindi ito mangyari sa inyong mga dogs at maaga pa natin ito. Salamat again sa panonood. See you again in my next video.